Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this episode of Cook TV brought to you by www.craftsuprint.com. In this episode, we're going to be looking at a gorgeous kit by me. So, my name is Anne Marie Vo, and you can go to the website and search any of my designs. The cup number for this design is cup 995763 underscore 10. The name of the kit is Blue Daisy's Oval Easel Card Mini Kit. You get three sheets in the kit, you also get the kit front and full written instructions. So I'd like to show you what you get in the kit and then we'll make the gorgeous card. So the first sheet that you get in the kit is for the easel card front and then the back panel for the easel card. Now the back panel it says handmade for you by and this is where you're going to add your name so the person you give it to knows who sent it to them. The next sheet is the actual easel part itself. Now I have included a little, just a little drawing of where you've to add the tape and then I've also added arrows of where you have to add the tape just so that you know where to fold it, where to score etc. And then the last sheet is decoupage to decorate and to make the stopper for the easel card as well as a bow. Now you've got extra decoupage on there so you can either load it up with all of it or just use what you want. So those are the three sheets that are included in the kit. So the first part, I've actually cut out the easel part, shall we say. Now, you need to fold along here. It tells you on the sheet. So you fold and score at that section there. So we'll fold it and then we'll score it using our bone folder to make sure it's a nice sharp score. And then the section that you fold backwards is the section that you want the tape on. So I'm just going to remind you of how it looks on the sheet. This is where you're going to add the tape and that is how it folds together like so. And you fold this section backwards and again use a bone folder to make sure it's nice and sharp. We've got tape on there so we can remove the tape. I've just used flat tape. Now at home if you wanted to use wet glue so you've got a little bit of wiggle time that's fine. Then we take the actual front of the design and what we're going to do is place that over the base. Now I've turned it around so I can see it and we're simply going to marry up edge to edge and this is where I'm in about the wiggle room. If you're using wet glue it'll give you just a little bit of time to get it in position. So put the top on like so and press it down and that will give you the movement, the start of the easel. So now we're going to turn our design over and we're going to add our handmade bisection on the back. I've cut it out and I've got flat tape on the back and I've just added my name so that whoever would get this card will know that I've made it for them. So I can press that down and then we can go back to the front of our card and we can decorate it. Now what I've done is I've cut out some of the daisies from the actual decoupage sheet. I've added 3D foam just to one side of the actual um, design and I can add that just to the side of the actual oval like that. And then I've taken one of the bows well, the bow that's in the kit. I've got 3D foam on the back and I'm just going to add that to the other side. And then I've cut out one of the daisies. I've got 3D foam on the back and I'm going to add that daisy in the centre of the bow, like that. Now we need to make the stopper for the easel cab because it needs to be able to raise up. So I'm going to fold that section back and I'm going to take some of the decoupage daisies 
that were actually in the kit as well. And I've taken the large trio of daisies. I've got 3D foam on the back. Now I want my easel to stand quite high, so I'm going to put these approximately there, I think. Kind of in the middle. Um, there we go. Pop those there. And then I've taken another three of the daisies and I've got those on 3D foam and I'm going to pop those just over the top and so that gives it just a double barrier stopper for the actual easel. And then I can test that it works by turning the front back and then, then just sitting it up and look at that. It works perfectly. Now I know with a camera view it's a bit difficult to see so I'll turn it sideways and you can see how the daisies at the bottom act as the stopper for the easel section and that is our gorgeous blue daisy easel card. Now you can search for any more of my designs by going to the website and looking for Amarivo and I'd just like to remind you of the cup number for this kit. It is cup number cup 995763 underscore 10. So I would just like to say thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time.